more information on the passive. For more information, you can look in your textbook on page 263 at chart 10-3 and on page 265 at chart 10-4. First, let's talk about the difference between transitive and intransitive verbs. Transitive verbs take a direct object, as in the sentence that we discussed in the previous video. The cat chased the mouse. You have a subject, the cat, a verb, chased, and an object, the mouse. This is a transitive verb, chased. The mouse is the object, and it immediately follows the verb. There is nothing between the verb and the noun. Intransitive verbs, on the other hand, do not take a direct object. For instance, the cat slept. You cannot put a noun after the verb sleep. It's not possible. You can put an adverb after the verb sleep. The cat slept quietly. The cat slept peacefully. But you can't say the cat slept his owner. The cat slept the couch. You can't put a noun after the verb sleep. It is intransitive. Another example. Mary talked to the police. Now it looks like it's a transitive verb. You have an object, right? The police. But the police is not immediately after the verb. Immediately after the verb, you have a preposition. If you have a preposition after the verb, it is an intransitive verb. It does not take a direct object. Now why is this important to understand the difference between transitive and intransitive verbs? Well, it's going to help you with passive. Transitive verbs can take the passive. So that sentence, the cat chased the mouse, we can change it to a passive sentence. The mouse was chased by the cat. However, intransitive verbs cannot take the passive. You can never, never change an intransitive verb into a passive verb. It will never happen. The cat slept. There is no other way to say that. There is no object to move to the front of the sentence to make into a passive sentence. So it has to stay active. You cannot change it. The same with the second sentence. Mary talked to the police. If we said the police were talked to by Mary, that's a terrible sentence. It's very bad. We would not say that in English. It's very, very odd. Because of that preposition. There's a preposition after the verb. So the police is not a direct object. So we cannot move it to the front of the sentence. So we cannot change this sentence to the passive. It must stay active. Now it's your turn. Change these sentences from active to passive, if possible. If the verb is intransitive, then you cannot change the sentence at all. There will be no change. Let's look at the answers. Alexa fell on the stairs. No change. Fall is an intransitive verb. Look at what comes immediately after the verb. The word on. It's a preposition. So there is no direct object. So we cannot change this sentence at all. It must always be active. Kate has sent an email. We can change this to an email has been sent by Kate. Why? Because immediately after the verb, we have a direct object. 
the verb is has sent, the object is an email. There's nothing between the verb and the noun. So it's a transitive verb. I agree with you. No change. Agree is an intransitive verb. Look at what comes immediately after the verb. A preposition. If a preposition follows the verb, it's an intransitive verb. We cannot change it. An accident happened here yesterday. No change. Why? There's no noun after happened. Happened is an intransitive verb. What comes after happened? Here. What is here? It's an adverb that tells us where. So there's no way to change this. Happened is an intransitive verb. We do not have a direct object. The driver hit a tree. We can change it to a tree was hit by the driver. Why? Because hit is a transitive verb. Immediately after the verb, we have a direct object, tree. So we can move the direct object to the front of the sentence, and we can make a passive sentence. Next, let's talk about the by phrase. You remember that when you're writing a sentence in the passive, you need a form of the verb be, plus the past participle, plus a by phrase. If you remember from the previous video, I told you that the by phrase is optional. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about that. If we know who performed the action in a sentence, we must use a by phrase. This scarf was made by my mother. We know who made the scarf. That's important information, so we need to include it. So we must use a by phrase. No choice here. If we don't know who performed the action, we don't use a by phrase. This scarf was made in China. Who made the scarf? I don't know who made the scarf. Someone made the scarf in China. Maybe it was an old man. Maybe it was a young woman. Maybe it was several people. I have no idea who made the scarf. Doesn't matter. We don't know. We don't care. So no by phrase. If it is not important to know who performed the action, we don't use a by phrase. For instance, English is spoken in America. Well, who speaks English? Obviously, Americans. That's who speaks English, right? But that's not important, because it's obvious. We already know. You don't need to tell me English is spoken in America by Americans. Of course it is. I already know that. What's important in this sentence is English. We're talking about English. So we don't need the by phrase because it's unimportant. Now it's your turn. Read the following sentences. Change them from active to passive. Use a by phrase only if necessary. Let's look at the answers. Someone found the wallet in the park. To change that to a passive sentence, we say, the wallet was found in the park. We don't need a by phrase. Why not? Because we don't know who found the wallet. Someone. But who is someone? I don't know. We don't have that information, so we don't use a by phrase. Next sentence. People make these sweaters in Malaysia. These sweaters are made in Malaysia. Who makes the sweaters? People. Who are people? I don't know, Malaysians. Does it matter? No. We might know who does it, but it's not important information. If the sweaters are made in Malaysia, obviously they are made by Malaysians. 
But we don't need that information. It's not important. The sweater is the important thing, not who makes it. And finally, my best friend made these sweaters. These sweaters were made by my best friend. We know who made it, and that's important information. These are special sweaters to me because my best friend made them. But the sweaters made in Malaysia, I don't care. Those are not special to me. It's different from the ones made by my best friend. That's important information, so I need a by phrase. For more practice, turn in your book and do exercise 9 on page 264 and exercise 12 on page 265 and it goes over to page 266, so make sure you turn the page.